<laughs> You're so cute. I love your face. Uh. <laughs> so what he's doing here while giving me the epic stink eye is tracing out a pattern so that we can transfer it onto the piece of marine grade plywood we're using to replace the rotten skirting that we took out. There were a couple of funky cuts that Jeff had to make and a few weird angles to get that piece of wood to match up to the back side of the motorhome, but the rest of it was pretty straightforward, pretty easy. That piece of wood is pretty long. It runs all the way from the back corner of the motorhome all the way up to the front side of the back wheel well. So to make sure it was never gonna go anywhere ever, we decided to glue it as well as just screwing it in there. So we're gonna glue it to the inside of the paneling right there. That adhesive was super sticky and super stinky, just what you need to <laughs> stick big things to one another. But it worked out good. This is what it looks like from the inside and uh, Jeff clamped it and we let it sit overnight to make sure it dried. But yeah, who's starting to look like a real wall again. And this is what it looks like from underneath. So much better. Yes. Oh, right up here, it's still not attached to the floor, but I'll show you that in a second. To attach the wall to the floor, we gotta put the screws back in there. And then the trim piece goes over that with more screws. And then we have to slide in the screw cover, the vinyl screw covering, but then it'll be solid. Right now it's still wobbly because it's not attached. You can see it wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> but it's almost there. So now it's my job to clean up all of that junk so that we can get that piece of trim attached properly because otherwise it, we won't be able to seal it. But I've already cleaned all around this section. That's where the um, propane tank goes. And I've already cleaned around this one as well. That's where the hot water heater will go back into. I've learned over the years it's super important to get the edging really, really clean because otherwise you can't get anything to seal and it'll steal leak. So because of that, we're going to reseal this one as well. Um, does anybody know what those things on the corner are? We need those and I have no idea what they're called. So underneath here, Jeff had to take out the bottom piece of the wall framing because it was all rotten and just falling out and apart. There's still a couple good pieces of wood that he can screw in a new piece of framing into and then we can get it all buttoned back up. While Jeff was inside doing other stuff, I came out here and cleaned up all of the old caulking and old adhesives and sealants that were you know, stuck to the bottom of the motorhome. A lot of it was wrong stuff and was a pain in the neck to get off, but it looks gorgeous now and it's ready for the trim to be put back on. Yay! Before Jeff can reattach the trim pieces, I have to clean them though because they're filthy dirty and they've got lots of old caulk stuck to them. So just lots of elbow grease and a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Well, we ended this day Jeff actually attached the wall to the floor, so it's solid now. That's an old seatbelt bolt we're gonna get rid of, but it's coming together. Super duper stoked. Right there, you can see the new piece of floor. Oh, that's awesome. And then all the way up front, the front side of the wheel well, you can see the new piece of wall framing. Nice. 
big egg. Yay! And here's a closer look at what the whole repair looks like from the inside. You can see that opening where the water heater is at is all fully framed in. Looking good. And the new piece of floor. There's still some water staining on the old wood, but it's actually not rotten, so we leave in it. And then uh, the rest of it is all put together. I wasn't able to come to the motorhome for a couple of days and I showed up to see that Jeff had done like all the work. He put that cabinet back in, he even uh, set the fresh water tank in there to make sure everything was fitting really well still. There's still that gross piece of carpet, but that's my job. So I'm gonna take that out today and the old seat belt bolt because we ain't gonna need it. But yeah, oh my God, it's starting to look like a motorhome again. I'm so excited. <laughs> but under here, <laughs> he, he built a little box on top of the wheel well to kind of extend it a little bit so that it'll be better able to support the water heater right there. And there'll be room for two batteries when we get there. Um, he even started wiring up the water pump. So yeah, woo, it's coming together. Then I went outside and found that he had put on the upper trim pieces. Uh, he's got butyl tape behind that and then that is also screwed into the floor. But yeah, all we need to do is just run a bead of caulk around that and that little piece is finished. Yay! So now it's time for me to do some work and take out that gross carpet. So there it is all cleaned up and ready for a new piece of carpet to go in there. Seems strange that we're putting in carpet, but it's going to cut down on some road noise and it's going to be a little more gentle on the water tank so it doesn't get scratched on just the raw plywood floor. Back outside, this little guy, the city water connection has a bad check valve, so it leaks. So we want to replace that. And this, where we fill up the fresh water tank, is just dry rotted and ridiculous to open and close. So we're going to replace those with new ones. So we took them out and we're just waiting for the new ones to come in the mail. Are we freaking crazy for tearing out the bathroom too? Meh. Who knows, but here's a few shots of it before. Um, we're not gonna do a whole lot. We just wanna make sure we can at least tear out the carpet because you carpet in a bathroom is disgusting. Um, and we're going to take out the sink because the shape of it makes it nigh on impossible to sit on the toilet comfortably, like super cramped even for me and I'm a tiny person. <laughs> And this is pretty much what it looked like at the end of the day. Tore out the carpet and we took out the sink. So yeah, if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. I'll try and get another video up next week.